You may think that picking a motherboard for the 5900 XT is as simple as matching the socket, but there's more to it. VRMs, chipset features, connectivity, and long-term reliability all play a role. After comparing the best AM4 boards still worth buying in 2025, I narrowed it down to a budget pick, a premium option, and the best overall choice. First on the list is my recommendation for anyone who wants a solid motherboard without overspending. The MSI B550A Pro comes at an affordable price while still checking all the important boxes of a reliable AM4 board. It features a capable 10-phase vCore VRM setup to handle the 5900XT's power draw, PCIe 4.0 support for your GPU and NVMe storage, Gen 4 M2 dual-channel DDR4 memory support, and a clean, understated design. It may not have every extra feature, but it nails the fundamentals, which is exactly why it's stands out as the best budget option. Of course, there are alternatives worth considering. The ASRock X570S PG Riptide, for example, is one of the more affordable X570 boards and gives gamers extra bandwidth with more PCIe 4.0 lanes, making it a better fit if expandability is a top priority. Then there's the MSI Mag B450 Tomahawk, which could make sense if you want a board with solid connectivity, a full ATX form factor, a user-friendly layout, and clean aesthetics. But it does add features buyers might not need. Many users simply want stable performance for gaming or productivity, while keeping costs low so they can allocate more of their budget to a stronger GPU, cooling, or storage. For those users, the MSI B550A Pro remains the smarter choice. To sum up, what I like is the dependable VRM performance, the PCIe 4.0 support, and the excellent value for the price. On the downside, it lacks some of the extra features, and it's not ideal for heavy overclocking enthusiasts. Next, if price is no object, then my pick for the best premium motherboard for the 5900 XT is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi. This board takes full advantage of the X570 chipset, offering multiple PCIe 4.0 lanes, a 12 plus 2 phase digital power delivery system with DR MOS for precise and stable power, and robust heat sinks that keep the 5900 XT running cool even under heavy workloads or sustained overclocking. It's perfect for those who don't just want to run this powerhouse of a CPU, but want to push it to its limits. What makes the Aorus Elite Wi-Fi stand out is its balance of features, performance, and price. It doesn't stretch all the way into enthusiast-level pricing, but still delivers high-end reliability, excellent thermals, and premium extras like built-in Wi-Fi. It's a strong, future-proof option packed with everything you'd expect from a top-tier AM4 board. That being said, if you want to step even higher, the Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Hero is another favorite among AMD fans. It's designed for hardcore overclockers who demand ultra-reliable VRMs, extensive BIOS tuning, and a polished software suite. The trade-off is that it comes at a much steeper price than the RS Elite Wi-Fi, and with AM4 being succeeded by AM5, going for an over-the-top AM4 motherboard may not be the wisest investment if you plan to upgrade in the near future. That's exactly why the Gigabyte X570 RS Elite Wi-Fi hits the sweet spot, delivering rock-solid performance and premium features while still being the best bang for the buck. To sum up, what I like is the built-in Wi-Fi, the premium feature set at a fair price, and the full PCIe 4.0 support and robust VRMs. On the downside, it lacks onboard tools like debug LEDs or a BIOS flashback button. Finally, my top choice is the Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2. While X570 boards may have the edge in raw power and connectivity, this B550 model proves you don't always need the most expensive chipset to get premium grade performance. In fact, the B550F delivers strong VRMs capable of keeping a CPU like the 5900XT stable, PCIe 4.0 support for your GPU and primary SSD, and a refined design that feels every bit as premium as Asus's higher-end ROG lineup. It also includes modern features like Wi-Fi 6, one of the best audio solutions in the B550 class, and the proven reliability of Asus's BIOS, which makes it user-friendly for both new builders and experienced enthusiasts. Because it works so well for the widest range of users, from gamers to productivity-focused creators, it only makes sense to place it at the top overall spot. 
There are also worthy alternatives, such as the Gigabyte X570 RS Pro Wi-Fi. This board is a great fit for users who value extra expandability, as the X570 chipset provides more PCIe 4.0 lanes, additional USB connectivity, and better support for multi-drive setups. The trade-off is that X570 boards generally come at a higher price and with slightly greater power draw, which could mean you'll also need to factor in a stronger power supply. So, if you want the right balance between features, performance, and price, the Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2 is hard to pass. To sum up, what I like is the premium design, the Wi-Fi 6 support, and the reliable BIOS features at a reasonable price. On the downside, it's still a bit expensive for a B550 board.